There's another push to reduce violence in Detroit through a partnership between the city, federal government, and community leaders. The focus is not only arresting violent criminals, but also stopping crime before it even happens. Our Ray Strickland has more on the One Detroit Partnership from Greektown. This new partnership couldn't have come at a better time. The press conference taking place just days after the city of Detroit saw a violent weekend where five shootings alone took place right here in Greektown. We will stop the violence in this community. We will stop it. The goal of a new partnership called One Detroit, the city, the federal government, and community leaders joining forces in an effort to make Detroit safer. Violent crime is not a problem that can be solved by law enforcement alone. U.S. Attorney Don Eisen says that the core of this initiative is partnership with a focus on these pillars, enforcement, prevention and intervention, and reentry. We know the violence upticks that we have seen, uh, and to see the work here, uh, this group, I could not be more excited for our community to have the opportunity to live safer, uh, to be uh, in an environment that is, is free of gun violence and impulse decision making. The initiative's enforcement strategy will focus on the most violent criminals. The prevention aspect of the partnership will mobilize community leaders to help reduce crime through blight elimination, community engagement, and job training. One Detroit will also look to help those returning home from prison to make sure they have the support they need to reintegrate into society. We all know that gun violence has replaced auto accidents as the number one killer of our children. We want to work every single day to make that an untrue fact in the city of Detroit. The announcement of One Detroit comes days after a violent weekend in the city that left two dead and nearly a dozen people shot in six separate shootings. Five of those shootings happened in Greektown. While the timing couldn't be more appropriate in light of uh, what we saw this weekend, this plan didn't start yesterday. The U.S. Attorney has had uh, this group working together for months uh, to roll out this plan and we are very fortunate uh, for the resources that we have here across the country we're seeing the rise in illegal weapons the rise in gun violence but in many cases you don't see the federal government and the u.s attorney take a direct interest in local gun crime the one detroit partnership was inspired by a similar effort called detroit one that was announced a decade ago a key difference in this latest partnership is the focus on prevention and so our hope is that provide by providing resources whether they be food clothing boys and young men of color services mental health and substance abuse services mobile health services that we may be able to help avert crime. Eisen says the success of the partnership will be measured by crime statistics and its impact on affected neighborhoods. She says her office is already seeing results in areas like Flint and Saginaw that saw a 50% reduction in non-fatal shootings. The hope will be the same for Detroit, but Eisen and others say it won't be easy or happen overnight. Enough is enough, folks. When I grew up, we had a saying that it takes a village to raise a child. Well, I'm here to tell you that it still takes a village to raise a child. We're all responsible for what happens here in the city of Detroit. And after the shootings here in Greektown, you may have heard of Councilwoman Mary Waters' idea to establish gun-free zones in popular areas here in downtown. That's not a part of this effort, but the mayor did address that today, saying it could be contrary to state law. But he did say the city may roll out plans to use metal detectors to get illegal guns off the streets. It's something they've done before, and he says the city could look to expand it. Reporting in Greektown, Detroit, Ray Strickland, CBS News, Detroit.